Hey guys, how's it going? And I have just completed Simply Piano. What? I've completed the Pre-Advanced 2. Now what they keep doing is uploading some new courses. So I've done the Someone Like You for Adele for the Chords course. And then I've also done the Pre-Advanced on the main sort of notes course. I don't know what it's called. I think you kind of have to do both if you are sort of doing it because by the end I was like, I don't know how I would know how to do that without of doing both. Um, it's taken me about 18 months in total. I wanted to complete it within a year, but I'm glad I've took a bit more time over it because I think if I rushed through it, I wouldn't have taken in all the information and I quite liked doing like the majority of the songs, going back and doing them before moving on to the next course. Now, this doesn't mean that I can play piano to a certain level, but what I thought was a really good test is, I'm really proud of what I've done, so I thought a test would be to go back to some earlier levels of the course and just try freehand following it on and seeing how good or bad I do. <laughs> um, and I thought that would be a good test to see sort of where I'm at and wise. And then I thought it'd be good to talk about what I do and any tips that I have. Um, I, go, I have my own warm up with some tracks from the course. So some songs that I've really liked. And there's about four or five songs that I've thought of They've given me a different thing, so I've sort of, I've learned those from the app, not from anywhere else, just from Simply Piano. And now my warm up, I am losing my voice a little bit, so if you hear it going, please be kind. And then what I'm going to do next, because obviously it's not just you finish Simply yeah, Simply Piano and then you're suddenly like ready to do the grades of piano and like be a maestro. Um, I'm still definitely at an early level. There's still quite a lot for me to learn, but I'm really proud of where I'm at, I can read the, the levels that are on Simply Piano of, of music. I've been playing melodies with both my left and right hand like different, um, which I've, is the thing I find the hardest, I think, and that's why I took a bit more time over the last few courses, because, you know, getting that gauge of playing two different things with, with, with hands, was it, it takes a while to imprint it, but now I'm picking it up each, each course, each song, I, I notice that I'm picking things up quicker, that, I, that it took me a long time before. Chords are a big thing for me, so chords are my, I found the easiest, but I enjoyed the most as well. Um, some people on the Facebook group seem to say that they found the chords harder than the notes. I think, because I'm a singer songwriter, I did already know some of the chords, but what I found really interesting is the different ways that you can use chords. And I felt like as a songwriter, it's really helped me develop, and that's what I wanted. Um, knowing more chords, knowing more, men, knowing more, having more tools to create. So, without further ado, let's start with my warm-up. Now, I want to say something here. So I get, as soon as I, I don't know what it is, but I did, I did say this in the Facebook group. And firstly, post in the Facebook group different levels. Like, I think the big sort of milestone is for release. And I think as soon as you do for release, record yourself playing it. Because you'll think that you've got it, and you'll think you're at a certain level, and you have it, you do, but as soon as that camera comes on and you know that someone's gonna watch you, someone's gonna give you some tips, I got a tip which obviously the app can't give me and I don't have, I've not been having lessons. So you kind of lose that obviously not having the physical lesson, but I was initially really close and my as soon as I posted one of the videos, it was come back and you'll have, oh, excuse me, come back and you'll have all of this sort of room and it really helped me sort of loosen up. Uh, there's a few little videos on the app, but I, I feel like sometimes the videos could just be a little bit longer. One tip as well, if you, anyone from Simply Piano is watching this, is I would like some like quizzes on the words and phrases because I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember a lot of the technical phrasing and I've been trying really hard to remember as I've been going on, but I, I know what to do when, when it comes up, but I don't know what it's called. So I think instead of just having like a quick 10 second video, I'd really like a little quiz to refresh. But anyway, my rant, please post your videos because as soon as I start to play and this video is watching or someone's watching, it's been really hard for me because I know that, so I do this warm up every day of these four or five songs and I do them without miss messing up any notes. But I know now when I show you my warm up songs, I'm gonna get notes wrong because I know that someone's watching, but I'm getting better and it's from posting to the Simply Piano page, sharing it with friends, my, getting my parents, getting my partner to watch and I'm like, this is what I'm doing. 
you know, and it gets me more comfortable because when you're just by yourself, obviously you're gonna have a, it's, a, it's a different energy, and you know maybe maybe you want to play in front of people one day. <gasps> Scary. So these are the tracks that I play for my warm up. I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna play a little bit of each of them just so you can get the gist of them. So I'll play a little bit of the songs that I play for my warm up. Of course, you can choose whatever songs you want. So I start with Fur Release. So that's the fair release, and then I go on to this song that I forgot what it's from. Is it back? I think it's back. And then I do the entertainer. the Turkish March and then I finish off with a recent edition of Adele's Small Like You and then I actually have one of my own songs that I wrote um, just play with some chords that I sort of play with um, and then sing along to it because I'm trying to get the lyrics into my head and that's my warm-up and then usually I'd go into the chorus and just see where I'm at, or maybe play like a random song first. If I've do, been doing like a notes chord for a while, and I want to remember what the chords are, I would probably go back to that. Let's see, let's go back and just see how I do on some of the really early courses. Let's do pop chords three, and let's just see what happens. Havana, come here, come here. Okay. relatively good about that. Maybe we go to um, intermediate five um, and let's go to, I remember some of these are really hard. I think I remember this, a canon in D. Let's see what I can remember. I think I'm also going to go to intermediate five. I feel like that, that seems like a good vibe. Now there's a song I remember called canon in D. And I've not gone back to this, but I remember how hard I found it for ages. It was the first one that was using the black keys, I remember. And, well, not the first, but one of the first. And I remember I was on it for ages. Oh, let's see, all good. I'm getting flashbacks. Flashbacks of how, how long this took, but it's such a beautiful song. What I do like about Simply Piano is you don't... Eventually, you're not looking at the keys, you're looking just at the screen, which is great. And that's one thing you'll find, like, it's mad like I'm going back to this now, and I took so long on it, but I, I've gone back to it and I feel like I'm feeling more confident about it already. Obviously, it's not, you know, perfect, but this is just completely just cold, I've, just, I've not gone through the training or anything.
This is like enjoyable to play. Like in comparison to when I was first doing this. And I was so stressed. So I think that's another thing, like it does get easier. <laughs> like you're not as stressed and it's not as scary when you do go on. Like it will all make sense the more time you put into it. I feel really happy that I can remember this because I just remember how stressed I was. Okay, let's go a little bit further in. Let's go to something a bit harder. Um, Pre-advanced. Now, I'm not gonna be able to do this. Like, for, I'm just going in this blind, so this is gonna be iffy. Now, this has got them things, so I can see that, I've learned that. Of a word I don't know again. One of the most recent songs that you fit, one of the later songs that you finish on is from the Amelie soundtrack, and it's one that I'm, I'm thinking of adding to my warm up just because it's using both hands and a little bit like the entertainer does, you know, and it's like. You're kind of like that, and I quite like that because I find that the most tricky, like trying to do both the things. Um, I, the mo thing that I most go back to as well is the, is the chords because there's still loads of chords that I think are quickly brushed over you know you cement the, the C and the F and the G you really cement that in but then when you get to like G7 you get to like D7 and you know the jazzy chords they're the chords that I want to remember so and then C, C minor C, C minor 7 yeah I don't know what it's called but I know it sounds beautiful um, and then Amelie is one that I'm thinking about adding to my warm up and it goes a little bit better like this. It's probably, I'm doing this completely blind, so this is what I remember from what I did recently. From here, I'm either gonna go into maybe piano lessons, um, or maybe there's an app called Floki that I'm debating trying out because I've heard it's a little bit more advanced. And writing my own songs more, maybe going to some YouTube tutorials. There's a track from La La Land. Um, you know, the, I don't know any of it, but it's did you know the one that he plays in the um, the jazz bar, and that's the song that I would really love to like spend maybe some time learning so i don't know if that's a really good next step for me just finding a song that i love and then just working on it all of the songs that are in my warm-up i love like the release um the turkish march i, I like I, they're the songs that really stood out to me the most and i thought give me something and especially i really wanted to have a portal in there so that obviously the recent adele i think was just great i really like my favorite part of that I'm going to play that badly now if I do it because I just know that I'm not in the right zone but, but I just love the bit where it's um, it's like it's just so lovely I mean that was wrong that was bad but it's just that, that was my favourite moment of it. and I was like oh my god this I can't believe I'm doing this in my hands and the, the, the great thing about the Dell one when you get there your hands for the chorus such a big big circumference which is the first time you really do that um, so that's really exciting to to get to that level and I'm sort of feeling like I'm not that, that excitement and you find things that work for you as well because I've got my little slippers here and I was trying to do my warm before and I had to delete it because 
I just couldn't play without my feet on the floor. I hope this video has helped you if you're deciding to start Simply Piano, I'd say go for it, even if you know, because I knew a little bit, but mainly chords, I didn't know really a lot about notes. I, I couldn't read music at all. I wouldn't know where the C is on the, on the note chart um, or anything. And I'm so impressed with what I've done in 18 months. I'm gonna go back over, I think, try and do every single song on the Simply Piano, because I think I've got the subscription. There's also a really good thing called Better, um, which has got like actual sheet music, and I think that's another thing that I'm gonna go on to next. Maybe Floki, maybe learning that song from La La Land, but we'll see what happens. And just writing my own songs and just I'm loving it. I love just having sort of the sort of the the playfulness. I had a keyboard when I started as well, and I've now got a piano, which is just really exciting. But I just love that I now know some chords that I can I can play with, like and like I can sort of there's a you learn some chord patterns as well, which I kind of like. Or like um, what's the nicest one? It's like. because you can just learn a few chords and then whiff that out if you're like I'm gonna play the piano and I can you know you know play some cool chords and to finish as I feel like this video has been longer than I thought it was gonna be um I think simply the piano is great I'm so impressed with what I've learned in 18 months I think I'm at a really good place to keep on going and learn more um if I wouldn't have started it I wouldn't have known anything that I know today so I feel really impressed and proud of myself uh, the app is really easy to use, really helpful. I would say join the Facebook group. I would say, obviously there's a few things that, you know, it does take a while to get into some technical stuff. So maybe if you are at a certain level, maybe look at another app. But I think if you're all at a stage where you can't read music at all, you've never learned it um, before, if you don't know any chords or anything like that, Simply Piano, I would definitely recommend. This isn't a paid ad as well or anything like that. I'm not being paid by Simply Piano, unless you wanna, if you're watching this and you want to give me a free membership for life, then sure. Because then I can do the future courses, because I'm sure they're going to add and hopefully make it even um, more fleshed out and um, carry it on. Yeah, thank you so much. I would say take your time over it if you're mid midway through your courses. Um, just do as many of the songs as you can. Please subscribe to my channel. And I hope wherever you are in the world, you're having a great night or day or morning or whenever you're watching this.